Hello, it's Dave Hammond with Hammond Motorsports. I want to make a video here about setting bump steer using my setup plates. This video is going to only have about the bump steer only. Um, what we've done is we got the car up on the plates, as you can see all the way around. And uh, I just want to kind of show a few things that's really important to do while you're doing bump steer and why my plates are so important to use as a tool. Uh, one of the first things we'll do is we'll remove the right front shock and spring out of the car. Then you'll take a floor jack on the front. Now this doesn't matter if it's a dirt late model, dirt modified, anything dirt car that puts the car in that type of attitude. You'll do it this way. Now if it's a pavement car where the whole front end comes up and the back end goes down evenly, simply just position the jacks to allow the chassis to rock. So what we're going to do is we've got the car down in its attitude and it's very important to place the front jack at this angle so it can go straight back of the car and to put left rear hike in the car very very important to have the jack like that 90 degrees to the door so as you rise the chassis with the jack the chassis can go up and to the left and it will go forward on the left rear and um, the wheels don't move side to side. It's your chassis that moves. So you gotta really be careful about how you place your floor jacks so you can put the car into the dynamic position. Now, with me doing this video by myself, you're gonna have to understand that I'm just gonna tell you a few things. So, <clears throat> you'll take your tape measure and you'll go up in here and you will measure your center to center shock measurement to get your ride height. Then, if you know that your car travels down four inches, you will travel it down. But before you do that, I love these solid bars right here. They're one inch by two inch. Uh, in fact, we're going to start selling them, so get ready to see them out here. But before you move the car in any position, Lock the steering straight and then take your tape measure and hook in to the plate like that And then you can come out here and see where it is and You do the same For the front then Take your chassis and rise your chassis up and down and recheck this measurement for your bump steer Why that you want to do it this way is it's the wheel stays put. The chassis is what moves. On the right front corner, your chassis goes down, forward, and to the left. It moves in three directions. So um, in bump steer, things that affect bump steer can be camber change, caster change, Ackerman, or just some of the things. And why we want to do it in this attitude is the chassis, when it rolls up on the right front, it goes down and to the left. All your pivoting points that your A-frames mount to all move. And when they move, that's going to change all your settings. So again, it's very important to run the chassis through the motions using these floor jacks to allow the chassis to go in the proper way so that way you can make sure that when you're doing your bump steer you get the most accurate bump steer reading out there so if you got any questions about this you can always give us a holler at the shop at 563-659-1153 or look us up online at hammondmotorsports.com um, very very important to do your bump steer this way. So 
Uh, really quick tip again, make sure your front jack goes forward backwards. Your left rear jack can go side to side. Very, very important to have that so you don't bind the chassis up or move the chassis in other directions. That's so, all. But anyway, I just want to take this time and say thank you. We appreciate everything. Y'all have a great day.